Hello, and welcome back to Temporary Workforce Hiring Agency Sim, <laughs> also known as Rollercoaster Tycoon Mega World Park, where we are truly, and I mean truly, on a hiring spree for a personnel. You know. Employees wanted, dead or alive. <laughs> well, uh, alive, uh, you know, has, does have the preference. But what we did last time was we set up the handy dude workforce. And look, we have an army. We have 58 of them, no less. And that's only the first stop. Next up is the mechanics. But uh, just in case you don't know this park or what we're up to. Look, this, this, this gigantic park... It's all pre-built, and we have to make sure that the ratings don't fall below uh, 700, it was. Yeah. Just so you know where we're starting. Yeah. <laughs> we have failed the game <laughs> without even starting, really. So, we better make sure that we do everything right from the get-go. So, staff is, like, the first thing we, we're going to do. Next up is rides. But, like I said, you know, we have handy dudes coverage everywhere now throughout the entire park you know just going to show you in case you missed it last time throughout the entire park everything is covered by handy dudes and plenty of them so knowing this um what we need to do next is set up the uh the mechanics now we do have a fuse and i'm curious as to like where these are oh my good lord they have massive areas and the thing is, they're all heading for specific areas, but I'm going to de-assign them. I don't want mechanics in specific areas. So, I I'm going to de-assign them. I want loose walking mechanics, and I want loads of them. And I want fixed mechanics for the coasters. So, we're, we're, we're going to do away with all of this. Besides, we tried assigning areas to mechanics. I believe it was, it wasn't in the urban jungle park, but in some other park with a tower and a roof where we could build upon. And uh, that did not work out. I have bad experiences with um, assigning mechanics to certain zones. So here's another zone. Let's see. And every mechanic does have a zone assigned, it seems. Oh my goodness, look at this. How is it even possible that we now need to de-assign everything? But this is the only right call to make here. That is to de-assign everything. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. I want to sack mechanic number one. We need to do a bit more of de-areization here. Now, uh, we're only keeping these mechanics because they are already on a job. So, that's the only real reason. Uh, for the rest, you know, I would have fired them where they doing nothing and just start anew. Look, we all have these floating handy dudes everywhere. <laughs> that's because not a single millisecond has passed ever since our last uh, video. Because I do not dare take the risks. Uh, and then, this is the last one? Is that truly so? Well, the game says and that's the case. I do intend to believe it. And then, I'm sure I missed like one square somewhere, you know. But, even in this view, I do not see it. Like, if you don't mind, what, what is your area? Where is it? Like, am I, am I crazy or am I not seeing it? I don't think I am that crazy. I don't think there is an area assigned to him. Not, e not even in the water, which is like the only place where you can really hide these kind of areas. Yeah, not for this mechanic. So, there. We'll just uh, turn it off. I don't know. Can't find it, so now it is time that we do our own assigning of handy dude or uh, mechanic dudes. So, first of all, what we're just gonna do is uh, we're gonna drop uh, mechanics in like uh, this area, for example, and then we're basically just gonna drop them as I feel 
necessary. Like over here we want another one, for example. But I also want one over here with this coaster. Because this coaster is uh, crash prone, basically. And that's, that's basically the only, only thing that counts here. And then this over here is also a coaster. So this will also require a fixed mechanic. Well, very good. Then over here we have plenty of other rides, so we'll also do a mechanic. Then this is another coaster, so we'll get like a fixed mechanic. Look, this is basically how we're going to do it. It's a bit easier than uh, setting up all the handy dudes, because man, that took like forever. But it still needs to happen. Look, this is even like... Uh, broken down so then this needs definitely a fixed mechanic I do hope you will start walking uh, in front of that exit up and down then that's a regular ride we'll just hire an another one then that will need a fixed mechanic yeah well that's a shame but that's the only r realistic area that we have Right, okay, and this is just a regular car ride. Um, this cannot crash, but it's nice to have a fixed mechanic on these exits regardless, despite it not being crashable. So I guess what we'll do is that, you know, you, you will take care of those coasters. Um, then we have an area over here that I want addressed. We have a coaster here that needs some addressing. Look, and, and, and it's a good thing for us that we don't have money. Because if we had money here right now, oh my goodness. <laughs> that would be the end of our budget, basically. So, there. This will be another fixed mechanic. Then over here we have plenty more rides. Ooh, and there's a, also a coaster. So we'll get like a fixed mechanic there. Uh, there's also the mine train coaster somewhere, but I can't even find the station of it. Oh wait, no, there it is. All right, but hold on a second. This area does have a mechanic as far as I can. No, it doesn't. So let's drop another one there. Um, yeah, we need another mechanic, but this one's for the exit there. Then, oh, that's just a chairlift, so it doesn't really require a mechanic there. Uh, this is the water ride. This over here, though, this exit definitely requires a mechanic. Uh, just to be sure, we'll, we'll also cover that a bit, you know. Ooh, and this, this white track here definitely requires a mechanic. There you go. And just for good measure, we'll also hire another one there. Now we need to close all this stuff. And then we're not even there yet, you know. Now we're not going to go to like 50 mechanics, I don't think. But never say never, <laughs> I guess. Oh, man. Yeah, then we'll get like a fixed me Can't place person there. Say what now? Game. I need to place a person there. It isn't an option to not place a person there. And it needs to be like that. Alright, and this is close to the entrance then? Nope. Eh, well, actually, uh, a little bit. Uh, so, we can have a loose mechanic here. We can have another mechanic there, which will take care of this area. And then we also have like two coasters here, so this definitely needs some addressing there. And the other mechanic should be able to just do that area. And then maybe another loose walking one. And this is the purple coaster. And I oh, <laughs> and then we also have this. But this cannot crash, so it's okay if that breaks down. That's basically free rides for the guests. So that's that's not a bad thing if that breaks down. Uh, he says, you know, almost believing himself, so... Right, 37 mechanics, and I do hope that... No, we still... Uh, we're missing one over there. Now, 
that, granted, we might have been able to get away with a few less mechanics, uh, I'll have to admit, but better safe than sorry. And at least right now, I know that whatever breaks down is at least guaranteed to be fixed. <laughs> so, uh, you know, then we're gonna hire a legion of guards, because I don't want any more vandalism whilst I can uh, prevent it. So. Now these guards, of course, don't really need to be in any place in particular. And what this will probably do is... Uh, oh, wait. Uh, what this probably will do is help us get the award for the best staff in the park. So, you know, at least yeah, it, it will it'll help greatly. But I do think we'll get that like quite a few times in a row. You know, go, going on like this. So. Uh, oh yeah, look at it. We, we we need so many guards. There is so much time back here. It's unbelievable. <laughs> uh, we are quickly outnumbering the miles of time with staff, though. I mean, the guards we don't need as many of as we need the handy dudes or mechanics, but. And I think we got most of it covered, and just for good measure, we'll land a guard there. Right, now comes the more important bit, and that is, we need to take care of the rides. But hey, damage, how about the entertainers, you see? Well, we're only going to do entertainers there where we need them, because if, if we don't, I could drop them basically everywhere. Now, what we could do is uh, we could just go by the screen and have a look at every ride that we come across with our camera. But I intend to do this more structurally. We're just going to go through the list uh, by, uh, you know, the rides and attractions list and take them on one by one. Fix them however, need, uh, however the ride needs fixing. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so it, it is easy to fix stuff. Now this has a queue time of 7 minutes. I don't even think that that needs like um, anything uh, adjusted, you know. It has the worst, oh man. And it also has a max wait time of 120 seconds. Say what again? Uh, let's lower that to 45 seconds. Ah, 60. 60 maybe, but that should be about it. So. Right, there we go. 3D Cinema. I'm not even going to bother with all the names, you know. For now, I just want to make sure that the settings are right. Seeing how this thing cannot crash, we shall not close it down. Avalanche is the next one. Now, this is a coaster, and coasters in theory can crash. Before we continue with that... Um, we should just check out some stuff here. It seems all alright. It's not much we can do here. Uh, but seeing how this can crash, we definitely want to have a look at the track proper. And see how it goes. So, let's get the height marks out here. Because this will tell me whether or not I need to close it down. Because this, this, this coaster can basically launch itself off. So... For example, this over here seems okay because there's quite a bit of track length here. So we basically go like this and then down and then up. And in theory, we should be good like this. And then let me see. So what happens is height 19 is the highest, then we have height 15, uh, then we have height 9 uh, long for a long time, then we have height 13, then we have height 12, and then back. So in theory the pace over here would be something like 30 or so. I'm not taking any chances, you know. Uh, I will close this down. So, there. That's closed. That's at least one. Because I have a feeling that this will just crash outright. So, there. That's closed. Uh, also, one minute queue time. That's alright. 
And you know what? Because of the long queue time, I said we hire entertainers where needed, but we don't really have a budget, so we can we can get them wherever we want, basically. Uh, which is what we shall do. So the 3D cinema and avalanche are taken care of. Um, balloon stall one open. Uh, let's go with the red. Balloon stall two is also open. Let's go with light red. And the bot flyer. What's what's this? The bat flyer is another coaster. Right. Now this is one of those uh, single rail coasters basically. So what we need to do is we need to check out how the track goes and whether or not that's even a viable track design. So basically um, the thing goes down And then that that is from height eleven. No, I think it goes up from height eleven. Uh, my bad. I thought that this track was actually coming from the station, but it's not. So before we continue, okay, that's that's okay. Ten minutes. Yeah, that seems good. That seems good. Anyway, um, so this goes up. It then goes down to height eleven. Down to height 7, up to height 9, and then height 11, which is probably a bit out of its reach considering where it is. Um, I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to add a lift here, but it will probably make it looking at how there's a, like a train there. And then there's a lift. Then the thing goes down. Uh, where does it even go then? Because, so basically it just turns around here, right? Goes around, up. Oh, and then it goes over there. And then all the way back. So. Basically, from this, uh, where was it? This point onwards, from height 13, it's all the only downwards. So I don't think this coaster is gonna crash. We have a mechanic set up for it. Um, I guess that this is actually good. It has a bit of a queue time, uh, but the minimum waiting time. There is no max waiting time. Say what? What is the right time? 1 minute 39. Why is that 9 seconds? I mean, why? There are 12 trades. You know, you, you can have this be a lot quicker. 5 times 12 is 60 seconds. I mean, 7 seconds times uh, 12. That's like 70, 84. That's like almost this right time, so... And this can also be lowered to 30 seconds. I don't know. I think that will cut significantly in uh, in, in the... Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I think this will cut uh, significantly in the queue time. But just to be sure, we're also going to add an entertainer here. And that's not going to be a panda. But uh, I guess <laughs> it should not come as a surprise to anyone. <laughs> Right, so we have the um, bat flyer done. How's the bathrooms? I mean, basically, all we can do, because we can't set the pricing, all we can do is just check if they're open or not, which they are. So Then we have Betty Bikers, which is also a coaster. Oh my goodness, <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is crazy. Uh, this is absolutely crazy. Safety cutout, huh? Okay. Not much we can do about this. It has no minimum wait time, though. But <laughs> low, low, 34 seconds. 
with uh, seven cars. So if we if if we do the dividing, that's like five seconds or so, which should be like the max wait time. But we're gonna make it the minimum wait time. Uh, yeah, five seconds max fifteen. So that should always keep things going, basically, which I think is good. Now, um, so then we have by big bug. And big bug is this coaster. So, how is the queue time? Pretty good, pretty good. Let's see if this thing is designed safely. It's not a big coaster though. I mean, it says big bug, but <laughs> look, it's only a fiver. And it doesn't go into the underground. And look at how tiny the track is. It's cute, aww. <laughs> but it's not like uh, that spectacular. Now, it goes up with the lift to height 80. Then it goes down 14, 14, 14 helix. No, 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 14 curve, 14 uh, jumpy, and then 12, and then 11, and then back down to height 9. I think this the coaster doesn't need a lift. Uh, I think it's pretty, pretty safe. It is, uh, no, it's not, not even broken down. So, yeah, no, I think uh, this is good, you know. It has the right uh, inspection time. How is the... 47 seconds with two trains. Uh, let's see. 47 seconds with two trains means uh, the max waiting time. I mean, just does it make any sense at all to have this here? Not really, right? It only makes sense if we l lower this a little bit so that we always have something going on. But this will basically mean that, like, uh, ha uh, every half, uh, all, when the train's on three quarters of the circuit, then uh, it will depart. So basically, this should also mean that as long as the thing is going uh, at three quarters, it, even with a station brake failure, well, three quarters might be like over here because the station is always like a bit of a long and slow bit. So I believe that if we, was it 30? No, it was 47 even. So that should mean that 25 seconds. Because it's longer than I thought. And a lot of it is on the lift. So I do believe that the, the coasters should depart once the other one's like here. So well, if there is a station brake failure, it should shoot up. But it shouldn't crash into the other coaster train. Alright, well, Big Bug is a debug. <laughs> then we're going to go to Big Wheel. I mean, how could you even, right? Forward rotation, not much to do here. Two minute queue time. Moving on. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's how easy I analyze if there is something wrong with it or not. Uh, this is another nice coaster. It cannot crash. So, that's also pretty good. Uh, also, I do not see why we have such a long minimum wait time. Uh, I do think we want this to be... I mean, how long is one one go? Yeah, let's have this at like 30 seconds. That's important because what we do want is... We want to keep the trains moving so we keep any throughput. I mean, what happens if there is like no maximum waiting time? So it always wait for... Uh, wait, it's w waiting for any load. Oh, I, did, I didn't check that. How was it with Big Bug? Wait for half a load, any load. That's what we should do. No, no, is this usually like uh, assigned? Isn't this like ticked off? We should do full load. Wait for full load or do the maximum time. I think that's, uh, that's the best uh, we can do. I think that way we have the... Uh, we should also do that over here, by the way. We do full load. How was the 
time over here. One minute twenty-one. Two trains. I definitely want to lower this to like forty seconds. Maybe even thirty-five. Yep. Yeah. So that way, the the timings that we give are uh, more relevant than what the game figures out for itself. Because I don't trust the game. Now, seeing how this cannot um, crash, uh, let's move on. <laughs> I mean, this, this isn't like uh, the risk factor over here. So far, I feel there might be less uh, bodies in the closet than I thought at first that there would be. And now this is uh, this is the stuff that's gonna become like really bad. Yeah. I mean, big open water. What we should do is place fountains here and just uh, basically corner off like this entire area here. That would be if we were smart, but we're not gonna. Um, boat hire. Yeah, there isn't much to do here. I mean, it can't crash, so let's move on. Bumper boats, bumper cars. The big question is, how is this set up? Uh, at least we know it is set up in such a way that it definitely requires an entertainer. I mean, just look at the queue size. Perfect. Well, that's excellent. Now, for the actual bumper cars... I mean, I don't mind if it's like two minutes. But this queue is like way too long for a two minute ride. So, let us just do, okay, now that might be a little bit too, let us just do one minute. How many can go on again? Twelve single seaters, so one, two, three is one load, one, two, three is another load, one, two, three is another load, and then another one. Which means that this will have like a six or seven minute queue time. Uh, it's currently at nine. Eh, I mean, I think it's more, it will be more like a six minute one. Anyway, uh, this is uh, sorted. Not much we can do here. So, moving on to... Ooh, fancy. Burger bar. <laughs> not much we can do there other than to check whether or not it's open. Uh, and the same is really true for the canoe ride. I mean, what can you really do here, right? That's, that, that's the thing. So Canoeing, okay. Uh, wait. That was the one I just had. Then, the car ride. Now, a car ride also cannot crash. You know, it's impossible for the ride to derail because of speed. Don't want to do that again. Look at where the thing goes, though. My goodness. It goes, like, all over the place. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. And then how long was the queue again? Yeah, look look at that. This is absolutely terrible. This definitely needs an... You've got to be kidding me. We have hit it. 20. And then 80. And 16 is 69. Or 96. With 20 is 116 staff members. Am I doing that right? Here comes the calculator. 3 plus 17 plus 38 plus 58. Yeah, 116 staff members. Come on. Too many staff in game. That's a shame though. Anyway, um... This, how long exactly was the ride again? That's actually not that long. I thought it would be longer, but maybe that is because of its uh, racing shaped cars, you know? Would that make any difference? I don't know, it doesn't seem to make any, but still, 3 minutes and 26 is like 200 seconds divided by 12. 200 divided by 12 means that we need at least a 17 
second so this was actually rather good it was almost spot on all right well seeing how the car ride can't crash uh next <laughs> uh, cotton candy is like the same thing you know, what, what could do cyclone is our next like true project so let me see here we go all the way up to height 30 then we go all the way up to height 26 again to height 26 uh, then it's going to be height 22 and height 22 also over here um, height 18 15 and back i don't know what to say other than it looks good you know leave if another train arrives at the station or at full load and then you have two trains that's asking for trouble if the thing crashes which it will have pace you know we're from a 15 height difference so this is asking for trouble uh, we're, we're gonna change this we're gonna not leave if another station arrives at, or another train arrives at the station what we're gonna do is because this also won't be a long course yeah look it's only one minute 15. What we're going to do is we're going to say always wait five seconds, uh, but then at most wait 25. Or if you get the full load, then you're allowed to go sooner. But I doubt that will happen like ever. So yeah, it look, uh, th this looks to be to me much better because what will happen right now is that the train will leave once the. Uh, you know, once the other tra the train is on the track. And I just hope that this, you know, what once it breaks down, that the thing will... Of course, it doesn't depart. Ah, that's an issue. That's an issue. If it breaks down, it doesn't depart. But there's a good chance, you know, that both of the trains will be on the track. So I guess we're good over here. So... Cyclone, check, drink salt, fry salt, falls of terror. Is that like a reference to the previous park? <laughs> no, this is a slide. I can see this already. You know. Slide is definitely crucial. Let, let us have a look. So what happens here is like it goes at really slow speeds. I mean, that we've established. And then it goes down here. Now, this might be doable because it's like slow speed and the thing does decelerate so this is maybe okay then these corners i will also believe this i'm not sure about uh, and the same for this this looks good now what is your pace 22 right so with 22 I don't know. I have a feeling that the falls of terror need to be uh, changed and adapted. So I don't know how it goes. I also another thing. I mean, I don't know if the devs can do that. Like uh, if a ride crashes, then just force it to be open and good. Because I don't see a dinghy over here. You know, for me, that's quite telling. I mean, if it's over here, that means it has made it through there, but. So I don't, I don't, I, I do want to play it safe. Uh, so we are gonna change it. We're gonna close this one down. Uh, but that is all just in good time because one minute four is forty or sixty-four seconds divided by eleven means six and um, a bit of getting in, getting out. Minimum wait time and then also a maximum wait time of only fifteen seconds. Actually, with this one, it's not that bad to not have a maximum waiting time. Because what that will do, it will mean that uh, if there isn't enough guests, which is most of the times there are enough guests, but if there isn't, then it will not depart. And seeing how this is not like a train-like code, so that's, that's actually good for this, so... Then the stalls are all open. The gallopers. What do we have here? Oh, <laughs> that's like the right, right next. It's neighbor. <laughs> oh yeah, that definitely needs changing. Um, wait for full load. 
How's the queue time? It's only two minutes. There isn't much rotations being done here. And how many can go on? 16. That is three tiles. So this this queue size is pretty decent though. So I feel comfortable raising that up. And then this is all rotation mode. Um, let's... I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's just one run that's doing. So we don't have to worry about these times. So there, yeah, that's the galopers. Now let's have a look at the go guards too. How good is this go guards? <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at the track that this go guards has. This is like insane, and the queue is even worse. Yeah, and we can't hire any more. Uh... <gasps> All right. Yeah, guys, we're gonna have to sack a guard because this this, this go kart definitely needs a uh, entertainer. I mean, of all the rides we have checked uh, for now, this ride needs the entertainer the most. Uh, and seeing how it doesn't crash, I guess we're good. So there we go. So we are at the go karts. We're a little bit halfway. Uh, let's finish doing all the rides. I mean, so, uh, some can be relatively quick. Oh, and this is also a nightmare. This is absolutely a nightmare. Last time since inspection, more than four hours? Yeah, but this thing can't break down, so... This is just bad. I guess... Uh, but that would make the queue time even worse. Yeah, we have to... Th th this is the best we can do with this. Uh, but it's bad. <laughs> Just so you know, it's bad. There's nothing good about this. Uh, this is a slide. It looks good. Single ride per admission. Yeah, no, no, right. Um, hedge skelter. And then we have some sh shops and stalls. The log fuel. Seeing as it can't crash, uh, it is, oh my goodness, <laughs> uh, oh, it, it actually goes over here, so. It might be just me, but it seems to be going down, 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 and down, like, each and every time. I mean, there must be like a crazy height difference here. Yeah, well, actually there is, so it's not that surprising. So then we have, these are like the only lifts. Man, can you imagine if they would have added like a turntable in this? Would be so much better because of it. Anyway, we need to fiddle with the timings here. And it says that it has a 5 minutes, which means 316 seconds. So, let me do again. The uh, calculator thingy. That means that we need a waiting time of at least 25 seconds. So this needs to go up. In order to smoothen out the uh, queue size. And it's 7 minutes, so it's doable. Alright, alright, alright. So the lock fume. Oh, man. Wow, we, we, are, we, we still have a ways to go. I guess what we're going to do is we're, we're going to leave it here. And uh, we're going to do like the rest of the rides uh, next time. Well, we do more ride checking tycoon. <laughs> oh, and roll a roller coaster tycoon too, of course. Yeah, yeah. Ma manic mine ride is next. So uh, yeah, see you then.